Hi there, this is Gary Jenkins speaking to you directly from where I am in Gola Prista, Kyrgyzstan Oblast, Ukraine. Just wanted to ask you a very important question. This was a question or a statement that was made to me when I first entered into the military services of the United States. The question that was asked is, are you prepared for the rendezvous that you will have with destiny in 48 hours? Are you prepared for the destiny with the rendezvous you will have in 48 hours? I've restated the question twice. Being not too wise or too bright, I didn't know what a rendezvous was, but a rendezvous is just a date. Something that you are going to engage in and have. And destiny, as you know, is something that happens a little bit later in time and with a time limit of 48 hours. I was wondering exactly what this man's army was asking me about. But what I did learn very shortly is if you have a goal, you have to have a time limit on that goal because it sets up a series of smaller decisions that you are going to make. And those decisions will determine the outcome of wherever you're headed for or what you're doing. As a member of the uniformed services of a country, I literally had to be prepared to be anywhere on earth within 48 hours. That was part of the deal. They were going to train me, they were going to move me around the world, they were going to have me do whatever I was supposed to do because I contracted to do it. But I had no guarantees. Maybe a couple. If I died, they'd bury me. They'd give my mom some money. But that was about it. That was about it. Otherwise, I was at the beck and call of that uniformed service. But how many of us go throughout our days every day denying a rendezvous with destiny? I wake up this morning. I will go and do the rat race. I'll go to work. I'll come home from work. I'll go into that journey that's just the rat race to get home. I'll get home, have dinner, maybe a few minutes conversation with family members that could be of meaning, maybe not pay some bills, watch some television, watch a movie, to try to evade anything else, and then go to bed, wake up to do the same thing I dread over and over again. Oftentimes, looking forward to a weekend, but finding I didn't really have the money to do anything of particular interest, maybe meet with some people, but really, was I ever meeting my destiny? Because that can't be your destiny, to go through a rat race day after day after day, feeling used, worthless, unappreciated. Nothing had more meaning to me in the workplace than the feeling of being appreciated for my service, for what I was doing. And yet, most places I worked didn't offer that to me. However, the day that they decided they were going to make me redundant, I suddenly realized that destiny had met me. I had been delaying preparing myself for something greater, thinking that what was good was just good enough for now. But despite all the promises of we're keeping you on, you're important to the company, we'd be glad to have you here for another 10 years. None of that amounted to anything. I was the least powerful man in the room when they said, you are now redundant, your job no longer exists. If someone had told me on the first day of working at the end of 10 years, no matter what this company promises you, you will be made redundant. I would have made so many 
different choices. And I imagine there are people who are looking at me right now who this truly resonates with. I am in a realm of learning digital skills right now. It is not simple, it is not easy, but I will tell you, it truly has been worth it. It's been transforming of my soul, of my mind, and I might say my body, because I am so much happier than I have ever been since I was a small child, because I can dream possibilities and I can see that they're not just dreams. They are the foundation of goals. Goals that I can set, that I can set a timeline to, to achieve what it is that I'm looking for. So if you like this video, please give me a, a like, refer it to friends, subscribe. I appreciate your time. Thank you much. Bye.